Uh, we are focusing on different communities that have been impacted because of climate change. We see that climate change has taken a huge toll on the population in Pakistan. There are people in the urban areas, rural areas, there are people who are impacted as a result of floods, there are people who are impacted as a result of the government's plans for development under the name of development, which have actually led to destruction of farmland. For so this massive uh, debt that we are accruing uh, from the World Bank or the IMF or the Asian development, it's actually making us uh, worse off economically uh, and socially. It may provide some band-aid solutions, but in the long run, what we're basically losing is, uh, you know, the rights of the people to make their own decisions, people's uh, indigenous rights. Uh, and often the loans are for infrastructure that, you know, indigenous peoples, farmers, pastoralists, have no Places where it never used to rain, there is rain, there is floods. We have snowfall in seasons when there is no snow and we have extreme heats. So what is happening around the world is extreme climate incidences. We march to be able to enforce this amongst the people to create awareness but more so to create pressure on our state, our governments and the governments around the world that they have to bring about changes. Today we're celebrating a, a, a climate march because whatever life is left uh, in the midst of the climate emergency, in the midst of the uh, destruction uh, that is to be celebrated and there is still hope left. But we might have hope left but what about the Palestinians that are being destroyed? 